hi my loves welcome back to my channel welcome back to jennifer talks for those of you that are new here welcome please subscribe to my channel like my videos and also share them for my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much you guys are the real deal thank you for sticking with me and please make sure you keep watching my videos hmm so today i'm just going to talk about my breastfeeding experience well most of you will just think that breastfeeding is just about putting your breast to your baby and voila the whole thing is solved but breastfeeding is actually a mental is a is a is kind of a mental game because from okay i'm going to tell you guys my breastfeeding journey then i'll go ahead to tell you why breastfeeding is actually very important i say it's a mental game because if you're in a very bad mood or you're not happy or you're sad or something is making you very sad you tend to have limited breast milk supply that being said i was thinking that breastfeeding is going to be like the easiest part of this journey for me but to be sincere breastfeeding actually made me cry because i i already said in my last video i have a big areola so when i was trying to put my baby to breast i was i found out that my baby was not he was struggling like he was struggling to actually suck and all of that he was lashing properly fine but i could see that oh this this um areola is too big for this baby's mouth so he was so uncomfortable and i was sad for him and another thing my breast milk was not flowing around the first to four days first four days my breast milk was not flowing that well it was just like maybe drops and i actually said i wanted to do breast exclusive breastfeeding so it was making me very very sad i was sad for myself i was sad for my baby because i was limiting him from getting the appropriate amount of food he was supposed to get at the moment so i was very very sad so okay i started taking so many things people were recommending so many things um, bre breast milk cookies so many things pap palm wine i took palm wine hmm i drank palm wine i they were telling me i should take plenty of tea creamy tea bitter leaf soup they told me a whole lot of things i took pap i took custard i took quaker oats these things that will enhance my breast milk production and i took all of them and i was hoping and wishing that my breast milk would start flowing so that i could feed my baby so after taking all of this it started flowing but you find out that when you always have to put your baby to breast, when something has to always be sucking on your breast you tend to get very tired you tend to feel overwhelmed like why do i have to keep um feeding why do i have to keep i don't know putting my breast to work like your breast is at work every 24 hours when they are not sleeping or playing so it was getting me really frustrated and another thing my baby will always cry like as if he's not getting enough um breast milk as if he's not feeding well so i had to get a breast pump to actually help me to actually help me see the amount of breast milk that i can produce so i know what my baby is actually feeding on so that actually made my mind at ease and at peace getting a breast pump lifesaver at least when i see when i pump the milk at night i can even get some rest while someone else feeds my baby or whenever i'm tired after pumping i can sleep and whenever my baby wakes up someone else can feed my baby so that's why i say breast pump is actually a lifesaver so and mind you don't think that when your baby starts um lashing on your nipples is going to be the sweetest thing it's the most painful thing ever aside labor it's very painful very very painful your nipple will be so sore you will feel the pain in your brain because it's actually very painful very painful like ah, ah, that first seven days that first week your baby will be suckling on your breast they're trying to open up the pores 
on the breast they they advise you that you should try to wash your nipples if you notice there are some clogs there's some things black things that clog your nipple you try to wash them with warm water so that you wash them out preparing your breast for breastfeeding because ha, when they start suckling on that breast you, you you tend to feel a whole lot of pains you tend to feel so much pains because if you're someone that wants to do exclusive breastfeeding your breast has to be put to serious work serious serious work so that being said i'm going to tell you guys why breastfeeding is important so you um i got this particular article from world health organization who they uh, they said we are supposed to feed our baby exclusively for six months without water or any extra feeding for six months reason be that exclusive breastfeeding for six months and when i say breastfeeding breastfeeding is the milk that is produced from your breast either you give it to your baby manually that's from your breast or you extract the milk and put it in a bottle in a feeding bottle whichever way but let the content be breast milk so breastfeeding is important because the first 1000 days of a child is very important i say 1000 days because throughout your pregnancy the nine months is 270 days the first 365 days and the second 365 days that's when your first two years of your child is the most important years of their life because this is when their brain tends the formation of their brain tends to take place so that being said your breast milk plays a very vital role in the brain formation of your child and whenever you want to feed your baby you have to take your baby to breast baby baby's head on on this your cubital fossa <laughs> i don't know what people call it but we call it cubital fossa elbow whatever you put your baby's head here and you make sure that this same hand is holding the baby's bum then this your right hand is what you use in holding your breasts to place it properly inside the baby's mouth to make sure your nipple is properly placed into the baby's mouth for proper lashing so you don't you don't take your breast to baby you take baby to breast <laughs> I'm just putting that out of the way. So, this the breast milk contains a whole lot of nutrients that we even underestimate. And see, disclaimer: I'm not saying if you're having a a if you're having an issue breastfeeding, if you're having a medical condition why you cannot breastfeed, you shouldn't give your baby breast milk. That is not what I'm saying. Please give your baby breast milk if you're having a medical condition or anything. There are so many nice um formulas out there that can also imitate breast milk so um this breast milk contains a whole lot of nutrients micro and macronutrients pro um, protein carbohydrate lipids fats and what have you so many nutrients and it even contains human milk oligosaccharides so this all these things helps in the formation of the brain formation of the baby reasons why we should breastfeed it prevents this child from gastrointestinal infection you see that whenever you're breastfeeding your child your child is not having stooling problems he's not having infections he's not having he's not falling sick just put two babies together one on formula the other one on breast milk you tend to experience these things i am talking about and see mothers are not left out in, on the reasons why you should breastfeed your baby it helps in it helps to prevent ovarian and breast cancer it helps to prevent prevent you from ovarian cancer and breast cancer so you should try to at least exclusively breastfeed your baby for six months before introducing under other complementary f um, feeding after six months another reason why breastfeeding is very very important is serves as a birth control you find out that children who were breastfed exclusively for six months they tend to perform better in intelligence tests Another reason is children and adolescents who were breastfed exclusively for six months, they are less likely to be obese. 
these are the reasons i tickle on who that i read and i decided to come on here to share it with you guys please 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 if you can try to breastfeed your baby for six months exclusively before you introduce other complementary feedings to your baby at seven months because at that point in their life breast milk is no longer enough for them they need more solid food that helps them to grow breastfeeding can no longer be enough for them so you have to implement other you have to introduce other complementary feeding don't get confused on the first milk that you see that comes out of your breast the first seven days that is known as the colostrum while you notice that after seven days you take the breast milk tends to be transparent milky that is the mature milk see in this in breastfeeding there are different layers to the breast milk the first one that comes out is the mature milk you tend to see that the later part of it is the later is the later milk that like their stages so make sure you empty a particular breast before going over to the next breast just so that your baby tends to get all the nutrients from one breast before going imagine if you're feeding your child from one breast and you just stop at the first layer of the breastfeeding the baby has not yet gotten to the inner part maybe just the first layer is just like the water and whatever that is coming out it hasn't gone to the mature part of the breast milk the baby loses you now go over to this other breast um, breast and give the best the baby the first layer the baby is losing out on this plenty plenty nutrients your breast milk has to offer so please try to empty one breast before going over to the other breast <laughs> i think i've spent a whole lot of time talking just on breastfeeding thank you so much for sticking with me if you watched this video up to this very point please subscribe to my channel like my video share comment let me know what you think about this video let me know what your take is on breastfeeding exclusively for six months let me know how you did it let me know what you think about it you must not maybe you you, you wouldn't have done it but let me just know what your take is on it thank you very much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye I wanna see the sunrise,